Whether it be contact dunk, shooting the three-pointer, playing defense, or even hitting tough post fadeaways, my brand new LeBron James build is one of a kind on NBA 2K24. And I've been looking for a catfish build since the game came out, and I think we finally found it with the slashing threat. I just made this build a day ago, haven't played any of my career, and as you guys can see, the hot spots and lethal zones, they came in just from playing the twos. And you can see with 37 games played on this build, I'm shooting 62.5%. But enough wasting your guys' time, if you're new to the channel make sure to go ahead and drop a like and subscribe let's go ahead and hop right into the build now before we get into the build i just want to say this as a disclaimer this lebron james build is probably one of the most balanced builds you can have it can do a little bit of everything and how the game plays it can even succeed in a lot of stuff but this is just combining everything i think miami lebron was the most balanced lebron we've ever seen from three-point shooting from finishing around the rim playmaking and all of that so that's what i'm trying to aim for here today of course there's gonna be other builds you can make with like really high finishing and have like no strength or really high shooting and have really low finishing stuff like that but this build in my opinion is the most well balanced so with that being said we're gonna be a point guard at six foot eight 218 pounds with a seven foot four wingspan starting off with our finishing since you guys saw this build was a slashing threat we're gonna have some pretty good finishing stats here a 71 close shot is gonna give you matcher on bronze fast twitch all that kind of stuff like that and we also have a very high driving layup now lebron james driving layup this year his layup package is amazing it's probably one of my favorite favorites to use in the game in general any build that I have that has at least an 87 driving layup I use LeBron James layup it's super glitchy it lets you go out from super far out of the paint so even if you don't have like the driving dunk you just want to try to do a driving layup you will get this off a lot it's super glitchy it's super hard to contest it has good floaters it has good hop steps definitely recommend it so that's why I went with an 87 driving layup we're gonna go with a 90 driving dunk I went with 90 instead of 87 I know you only get like a certain contact dunk package at 87 and then the next one's like 93 or 94 I believe but 90 driving dunks also going to give you precision dunker you're going to be able to dunk very well this build gets posterizer it gets precision dunker like I said on gold so you're gonna be able to dunk very well so you got a good driving layup and you have a good driving dunk now with the standing dunk at 45 this is where you'll kind of see the cutoff of getting some standing dunk animations you definitely get a lot of standing dunks in the paint and even if you have a little bit of momentum you guys know the, how the game plays you do get a lot of standing dunks even with just a 45 and then lastly we're going to take our post control to an 85 so we can unlock that gold drop stepper we got gold post spin technician i know you only get silver unpluggable but the way this game plays man i don't even know if unpluggable is worth having and you do save a lot of attributes with just going with an 85 post control but you're still able to use the post very well with 85 next is the shooting now this is where some people might have a little bit of trouble but from when i've been playing the game i have had no issue with the shooting like you guys saw lethal zones all on the three-point line i shoot really well i will show you guys the jump shot towards the end of this video and also some gameplay so make sure you guys stay tuned for that 63 mid-range now this is going to be enough because you get bronze space creator you get bronze mini magician and this is going to be enough if you especially have sharp shooting takeover to knock down these shots i'm not going to lie to you it's not insanely consistent just with the 63 with no sharp shooting takeover but once you get that sharp take it opens your game up a ton or if you save up for mama take whatever it is that sharp shooting takeover allows you to hit so many post phase so many off dribbles i've seen some bad shot selections when i haven't had you know the sharp takeover but i've also greened some fades so it's not super consistent but once you get that sharp take super consistent so definitely recommend at least having that at a 63 then our three point shots only going to be a 76 so it's not anything too crazy but 76 is a great cutoff i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna show you guys a lot of different gameplay and you'll notice like i said i've shot extremely well so 76 all you need definitely recommend it i'll show you guys like i said the jump shot i'll show you how i get open shots what i do just not just catch and shoots i'm not just doing catch and shoots in the corner the whole time i'm dribbling shooting from deep no takeover all that i will show you guys so 76 is all you need for that then i know a lot of you guys i'm pretty big into the rec this year as well you want to make sure you can finish the actual free throw so i went with an 80 free throw especially with a high driving dunk and layup you're going to be attacking the rim a lot so you want to make sure you can get that free throw in so i went with an 80 here which will be perfect now the playmaking of ball handling like i said this is probably going to be the most balanced lebron james build you will be able to find this year especially at six foot eight 
a lot of people kind of go down with this or have like a 63 pass accuracy but we're gonna go with a 75 that's gonna allow you to get dimer on silver a lot of different good playmaking badges you can get john moran pass style which is actually pretty good so i went with 75 the pass is zip i've mainly only played twos on this but i also have done a little bit of rec center and i haven't even upgraded it all the way so i know with a 75 it's gonna be zipping across the court then of course we went with an 85 ball handle so we can get speed booster on silver we got speed with ball for a 75 in order so we can get magic johnson dribble style or you can use lebron i know it's lebron uh build but i use magic johnson on it lebron's not too bad either i probably will end up using lebron down the road but with 85 75 it's going to be perfect especially at six foot eight now besides the shooting i think this is what a lot of people are going to be very interested in the defense like i said this build plays defense lebron james on the miami heat was second in defensive player of the year when he was there for one year so we're going to be able to play some defense and it's not going to lack at all with a 61 interior we're going to have pretty balanced perimeter defense nothing too crazy but also we're going to be able to get some badges with it so we want 72 perimeter and we're also going to go with a 72 steal so we get interceptor we get glove we get right stick ripper so we're not a huge liability out here on defense we can hold our own for the most part especially on the twos which is big because you're six foot eight you've got the good interior you can also play a little bit on the perimeter so you're not a liability you got challenger that's why I went with this like I said very balanced right here then a 78 block which is amazing six foot eight builds when you have anchor shut down the paint I've gotten so many chase down blocks already just blocks in the paint in general you get a lot of blocks on this build so you get chase down artists on silver you got bronze anchor at six foot eight with good interior you're stopping a lot of these point guards that you'll be matched up with a lot of the time and also we have some rebounding which is kind of hard to do this year we have a 54 offensive rebound which is nothing too crazy but we did go with a 60 defensive rebound so we can get bronze rebound chaser so you're playing the twos you're playing the threes and then just like you're boxing somebody out down in the paint you have some pretty decent strength which you'll see in a second you'll be able to get a lot of these rebounds you're not going to get really bad animations because you do have that bronze rebound chaser and then lastly you're going to be our physicals we're going to have a 81 speed so it's going to be pretty quick like i said you're going to get silver hyperdrive and silver Silver speed booster i've been messing with this a lot and i've seen a lot of people talk about it we only have a 70 acceleration and from how i've played i have not noticed like me being slow dribbling the ball at all like i said i've mainly played the twos but i haven't noticed me being slow at all so i went with the 70 acceleration at six foot eight you guys let me know what you guys think about that like i said i haven't noticed anything at all but of course i wanted to have some strength on this build i was having a hard time trying to get silver bulldozer so we only went with bronze but when you're going up against a lot of different point guards, especially now, I feel like a lot of people just aren't using strength. So anything lower than your strength, you are pushing people out of the paint easily. Like I've had so many bully animations and bulldozer animations already, and especially having that high driving layup and having a good three point shot, people are going to have to guard you pretty tight. So having that bronze bulldozer and having some blow by, you definitely can blow by these guards and finish tough layups at the rim. Then we went with a 78 vertical because we want to make sure we can get that for our contact dunk and then we just dump the rest into our stamina so we have a 98 stamina and like i said this is my favorite part about the build i've been waiting so long to try to get one of these catfish build names that actually matter and i think this is actually perfect as you can see we get shades of k cunningham penny hardaway and shay gilders alexander but we get the slashing thread name so a lot of people i've played have sat paint so far so the slashing thread that can shoot man is just perfect so here are all the animations that i have been using of course we got a layup package like i had said colby brian pose hop shot here are all the dribble moves that i've been using on my six foot eight that i've liked a lot and here's the money jumper pat Connaughton base so the court mods release one and lebron james released two even though it's just slightly a little bit lebron it's still some lebron in there and then here are my dunks and a lot of people have been asking for that i don't really have anything too crazy there's a lot of contact dunks and we do have some signature dunks on like julius irving i've been using lebron's of course that are pretty solid and i also like scotty pippins and then we just have contact dunks and some park alley oops as well like i said i wanted to show you guys what i'm dealing with right now i just made this build the other day i'm already at 91 you saw it was a silver tier as well but i went with the 87 layup off the bat we got an 87 driving dunk for the contact dunks we upgraded our mid-range and our three-point shots so what you guys saw in the game plays i've been shooting kind of decently with that my pass accuracy like i said is not maxed out but 65 still gets the job done and our defense i just upgraded my steel but we haven't even had our perimeter or our steel completely maxed out yet then you can see over here i kind of maxed out our physical so i wanted to see if i could get some bulldozer animations and i was pleasantly surprised what you guys have saw the clips i got a lot of nice little bully animations of the paint now we get to the gameplay the bread and butter what you guys wanted to see and you can see right now on my build i'm shooting 60 percent from three and this is just kind of early on but now i showed you guys at the beginning 
I'm shooting like 62, which is just crazy. And this 12 second shot clock mode might be the most fun game mode to play. It's matchmaking, it's 12 seconds. You're not going up against people that are just spamming moves and screens the whole entire time. But again, like I said, I wanted to show you guys some gameplay of the shooting because I know a lot of people are kind of, I guess, struggling right now with shooting. You see a great display of basketball for me right there. But I know a lot of people are struggling with shooting. But if you guys use this jump shot on set point, I don't think I showed you guys that. So if you guys are this far in the video, at least you'll know that part. So set point with the jump shot that I showed you guys, you'll be lights out with it. I didn't really get a display as much as I wanted to with the layup because it's one of the most glitchy things about this build is the layup. But I have been trying to get used to the no layup meter. Hopefully we can figure that out soon. But you can just see with this gameplay, guys, the shooting is amazing. I'm just knocking down pretty much every single shot. The catch and shoots, I feel like are automatic. Like I feel like I shoot like 90% from catch and shoot, to be honest. And then of course, the off the dribble, creating your own space with a six foot eight can be kind of difficult, but even with a 76 three-point shot, the hot spots just make this unbelievable. It's just super easy to green with. And then once you start greening shots, they have to, you know, go out there and guard you. And that's when you start slashing. Like I'm dunking on people with no contact dunk meter, finishing in the paint over centers. It doesn't matter. You can see right here, I end up using finishing takeover just because I didn't want to show you guys shooting with sharp takeover. But you can see still shooting off the dribble three-point shot we end up knocking it down we go i believe we went five for five from three which is pretty nice and it's a lot of dribbling clips yeah five for five from three which is always nice and now we're going to hop into a second gameplay where i'm just going to show you guys more a little bit of the passing and also oh, some of the finishing you can see right there a little pullback dunk the pullback dunks are super nice this year i don't know i love doing pullback dunks i get so many of them also want to show you guys a little bit of the layup right there with the post spin catch and shoot from beyond the hash three point knocking it down i'm gonna go ahead and skip this real quickly just kind of go through that just to show you guys there's not gonna be much cuts in this at all i feel like i hardly ever missed the whole entire time i was with this build you can see right here even hitting step backs with a 70 acceleration 76 three pointer step back three is just money now you can see i do sharp shooting takeover just because i wanted to try it out but again this dribbling getting any open space and we pretty much knock down every shot that we want unless it's a catch and shoot shot that's 11 percent contested i don't know how but again like i said at the beginning of the video the hop shots and stuff like that they don't feel that consistent you see it even said bad shot selection there so it's something i definitely need to work on maybe i need to get hot spots but we knocked down another corner three you can see right here i try to get the timing down this fading three don't end up having it but hey look at weaves he's getting it on the action a little bit with the putback too but again guys i'm having a lot of fun with this build if you end up making it let me know down below in the comment section what you think hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and until next time it's been your boy dignified i'm out peace